Hello, I'm Scott, and I'm here at the LittleMachineShop.com warehouse showroom. And today we have a high torque bench lathe. This is our model 76. 50 bench lathe. Uh, this is the largest lathe we have. It's about 300 pounds. It's a nine inch swing and a 20 inch uh, bed. So that's the class we're talking about here. So this has a thousand watt brushless motor. You get all the benefits of a brushless motor, reliability, power, performance. Uh, it's got a direct drive uh, belt to the spindle uh, between two pulleys. So it's variable speed, direct drive, uh, makes this extremely quiet when cutting. Uh, it also makes this extremely reliable, no gears uh, to break. This does have a set of change gears, but the, the drive system itself uh, is gearless. Uh, this has NSK brand tapered roller bearings. One, you want the right bearing in the machine. The other part is you want a good brand, a good reliable quality brand, or you're not getting the benefits of those better bearings. The next thing you'll probably notice is the LED mirror display up here. This gives you a uh, spindle display, it allows you the sp uh, spindle uh, control is there to increase the RPM of the spindle, spindle on off, uh, power on off. Everything is uh, presented and illuminated uh, to make it very clear and easy to read to control the lathe. This uh, machine comes with a two-axis DRO. Uh, the axis is going to be, there's a magnetic scale on the bed here. There's also another scale on the cross slide. So you're getting uh, readings from both those measurements, whether you cross slide or uh, carriage movement across the bed. Uh, moving on, this comes installed with a five inch chuck. Uh, this chuck has a, a unique uh, kind of D-ring locking mechanism here. Uh, it's kind of like a quick change tool post for a, a, a chuck. Essentially, you loosen these button bolts on the back here. You can take the adapter off um, uh, very easily with the bolts and then put a new one on uh, fairly quickly. This does come with an AXA, quick change tool post, and five tool holders, so you get the turning holder, the boring holder, the knurler, facing tool. Uh, moving across the machine here, we have digital encoders. These are reading uh, the movements uh, in the screw on both the compound here and on the tailstock uh, here as well. Um, the, the hand wheels and easy to read dials and control knobs have all been updated to solid aluminum and or chrome. But these are the kinds of things that when we were building these machines and creating the specifications, we said, what are the things that we would want on our machines? What would make them last longer, perform better? Uh, and these are some of the upgrades and components uh, that we've added. Moving down here, what you've got here is a power feed, uh, mechanism here, and this dial here actually also gives you a power crossfeed. Power crossfeed on this is something that you don't regularly see on uh, this size uh, mill. And for our larger machines, we highly recommend the stands. These are uh, heavy gauge steel construction uh, welded together. You bolt the machine onto it, and then they've got places to uh, bolt this into the floor. Uh, it puts your machine at the right height. It comes with a built-in uh, chip tray. Um, it makes it sturdy so it's not rocking around on a table or anything uh, like that, especially for a, a lathe this size and this weight. You want to make sure that this is secured very well. What we see is some of the benefits of this machine, some of the nice features, the add-ons, things that you won't find anywhere else. Uh, very well made, reliable, and you can find this at littlemachineshop.com.